Hello everyone, this is Hank. Today I'm back with another episode on the EOS RP How To. Today we are going to talk about the MFN button. Okay? Uh, how to use it, how to configure it to your preferences. Okay, so first of all, if you're wondering what MFN button we're talking about, that is the little button mark MFN. And it's just behind the shutter button. Okay, when you are in that mode and you're using the main dial and the quick control dial to change, uh, make change, make selection and changes from that. Okay, so let me kind of quickly show you. Oh, before I show you, uh, what I'm going to talk about is, is only applicable to. Well, it it is applicable to almost all modes except for the. A mode, SEN mode, um, video mode, and in part the boat mode. Um, they work differently. So we're talking about the rest of the mode, which is usually called the um, the um, the artistic mode, right? All right. So with that, I'm going to show you the default MFN button. What happened when I press it? When I press it, uh, a menu will come up and it starts out with the ISO. Now, to make a different selection, you use a quick control dial and you cycle through it. And you, you can just keep going to the right and it will just wrap around to the left. Similarly, you can go left and it will wrap around. So that's how you do it. And then you use the vertical, uh, which is the main dial to make the change okay now these are the default you don't have to be locked into that and today I'm going to show you how to configure it uh, to your liking so let's do that to do this you of course uh, use menu selection so you choose menu and and the answer lies in the orange tab now if you don't come up with an orange tab right away, you can use the info button to cycle through different tabs until you get to the orange tab. You use the up and down arrow to choose the CFN3 operation others, that's what you want. And then once you have it highlight like I do there, press set, and then go choose number five, right? And then you press set to get in there and use the down arrow to go to the MFN button there and press set. Okay, the default is dial function. Okay, first of all, you, you see a whole bunch of others to the right, right? So if you cycle through them and you choose one by pre and set, pressing set, then you would have chosen a new function for the MFN button and so it no longer does five things it'll just do this one function that you choose okay as you can see that there's a whole lot of choices and uh, today I'm not going to explain each one you you need to find out for yourself but the idea is that you can reprogram it to do something completely different and the choice is pretty large okay now, if you use a dial function, it doesn't mean that you are locked to those five. So, so this is what's so wonderful about it is that you can still customize it to your liking. So in order to do that, okay, you press the info button for detail set. Press the info button and then you would see that the first five are the defaults. And, and they are chosen for you. But as you can see, that you have a choice of other four that is not selected here. Okay. So, and if and if you look, it says add up to five functions, and that kind of gives you a clue. Now you don't have to choose five. You can choose either one or two or three or four or five. Okay. And among this nine choices you can choose any of the nine to to make them your five or your four or three or two or one right 
So normally, for me at least, I only use two things out of this thing to keep it decluttered, right? So the first one that I would use is the ISO. I use ISO because the RP, you use a main dial for aperture uh, or, you know, shutter speed. It's up to you. But And then I use I use it for aperture main dial and then I use a quick control dial for setting shutter speed. Now I don't really have any other button to do ISO so MFN button is a pretty good way to do it so that's how I control ISO through that. Okay so I'm going to select ISO there. Now this dry mode I have other ways of setting it and I don't use it often enough to justify cluttering up the MFN button, so I'm going to deselect that. Similarly, one shot silver, I deselect that. Similarly, white balance because I shoot raw um, and I can set the white balance uh, in post easily, so I would deselect that. Now, similarly, the flash exposure control. When I use the flash, I just use the flash to control that if I need to. So I'm going to deselect that. Now, there's one more function that I like, I mentioned too, that I do, which is the exposure compensation. Now, in any other modes except for manual mode, you can really easily uh, just press a shutter button, the shutter button halfway to activate the exposure compensation with the exception of manual mode. You can't really do that. So manual mode, you need to have a way to set the exposure compensation, so I'm going to use it here. Okay, so you press set, and then you select it. So now I have selected the two that I like, right? So I press info per the instruction to go to the next step. Okay, here it shows me the default is like ISO is going to come up first, and then in order in order for me to select. The exposure compensation, I got to use a quick control dial to switch over. Now, if I want to, I can press the set button and then I can swap it. So, if I swap it like this, and then um, the exposure compensation is going to go up first. I use the ISO more than the exposure compensation, so therefore I'm going to keep the order ISO first. So, I press set for OK, and then I press Info for OK again. You need to do that, otherwise it won't remember. Right? OK, so now now I'm done with this. So I can press the shutter button halfway to get back to picture taking. OK, so now, now when I press the um, MFN button, Okay, as you can see, the only ISO will come up. I can change the ISO, right? And then I can use the quick control dial to switch over to exposure compensation. And then use the main dial to change it very quickly. Okay, for this picture, may, maybe one and a one third would be a good uh, exposure compensation to get this picture to be perfect. Okay, so that is basically how you do it uh, to configure to your liking. So now it's just the two. I can cycle through very quickly. And again, if you wanted to, if you don't use exposure compensation, just choose ISO, for example, uh, through the configuring uh, thing that I just showed you. And that's about it. So with this, I would like to thank you very much for watching this. If you haven't, please like. And also subscribe to my channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a good day.